A new study found that the rat populations have spiked in cities with warming temperatures resulting from climate change. It found that the cities with the biggest growth rates were Washington, D.C., New York City, San Francisco, Toronto, and Amsterdam. For more, I want to bring in the lead author of that study, Jonathan Richardson. He is an associate professor at the University of Richmond. So, uh, Professor, walk us through what you found in this study. Uh, good morning, Vlad. Uh, so what we found is that cities that are experiencing warmer climate trends, so temperatures that are increasing over time, also are experiencing the fastest increases in rat population growth. We also found that cities that have been growing and having more humans moving into those cities, so higher human population density, they also have faster increasing rat populations. And then lastly, urbanized cities, ones that have more concrete asphalt and buildings and less vegetation, that also was linked with increasing rat populations. So uh, what is causing, I mean, I, we put up some of these factors here that are uh, linked to rising rat, pop, rat populations. Um, so we sort of understand what the effect of those things are having on rats, but what is causing us to, let, let's throw that list back up then, because I want people to understand that the result of the things that we are doing are what is leading to the increase in rat populations. Yeah, there's two basic parts of the equation for rat population growth. It's how humans are keeping our own nest in terms of managing garbage and food waste and things like that. But there's also these urban environmental variables that from this study clearly are important to this. And so in terms of warming temperatures, there's not a lot that individual cities can do about that, but it's very under it's very important to understand how that impacts the biology of the species. Because if winter is delayed by a week or two, if it stays warmer into November and December in this part of the world, or if it gets warmer a little bit earlier in the spring, or like we're seeing this week where it's unseasonably warm, that gives rats a little bit longer time to stay above ground and to forage and get more food and maybe squeeze out another reproductive cycle or two, which is easy to see how that accelerates population growth. Uh, population density in terms of people sort of uh, becoming a more urban species ourselves, that makes intuitive sense too, because the more people that pack themselves into cities, the more food waste that's gonna be available for these rats to take advantage of. And these rats are really well adapted to turning excess food into new baby rats that'll be scampering around our neighborhoods in these cities. Oh, boy. Uh, so let's talk about Washington, D.C., which saw uh, which saw a rat population growth of 1.5 times higher than right here in New York City. Now, most New Yorkers would be uh, shocked at that and not believe it because we have rats here that enjoy pizza and knishes and, um, you know, you know, what else? Donuts. Yeah, donuts. Uh, you see, New Yorkers here are like, they're all screaming out like what they've seen rats feasting on here in, in uh, New York City. What's going on in D.C.? Well, I want to be careful, Vlad, and acknowledge that for cities that are experiencing these increases in rat population sizes, it's not necessarily an indictment of the hardworking teams in those cities that are dedicated to, to rodent control. Almost always, they're under-resourced. They don't have a big enough budget. They don't have a large enough staff to even address the residential complaints that come in and to deal with these intense F infestations that are already there. So they have trouble keeping up for reasons that you know are, are beyond their own control, these rodent management teams. Uh, now, anybody that works in New York City, lives in New York City, so we do a lot of work there as well. <laughs> uh, you know, Maybe that it was surprising that the population growth wasn't as high, but Remember, this is not absolute population of rats. New York City almost certainly has many more rats than does Washington, D.C. Their populations, they're growing, but not quite as fast as Washington, D.C. Now, what's going on behind the scenes there? Uh, we really need to dig into, not us just as a research team, but each of these cities needs to dig in and see what are they doing different in one city that's maybe having more success, and can they adopt some of those practices? For Washington, D.C., I know that rodent control team, they do a lot of outreach <clears throat> to residents trying to encourage them to submit uh, complaints and, and sightings of these rats. And so they're trying to get a handle on all the areas of the city that they need to address. New York City is a very different city than Washington, D.C., very different type of challenge much bigger staff there dedicated to dealing with these rats. And of course, the mayor over the last three or four years has made it a priority to, to change some of the things that maybe make it possible for rats to live in New York, including the hiring of the rat czar. 
Fascinating. Uh, Professor Jonathan Richardson, thank you very much for sharing your insight. Thank you.